I don't know which one the mother is, but they both look like hoes. JT, I don't know which one the mama is. They both look and dress like hoes. And I know I'm finna make 50 million black women mad with this video. Not on purpose, but to tell the truth. Fellas, I done already got on y'all, us. But the truth have to be told. And I did a video about this a while back called, Can You Teach Your Child Something Else Other Than Shaking Their Ass? Now, let's just be for real in this video. You see a lot of women, mothers, they beautiful. They young looking. Some look like they ain't aged at all. And when you put them beside their daughter, they look like sisters. But it's too many women, mothers, are trying to be their daughter's friend. They want to slide in the skinny jeans also. They want their ass to look tight like their daughters. Some of them going after their daughter's man. See, that's why the Bible taught us about a virtuous woman and how wise she is and the wisdom, the words that come out of her mouth, the way she lives, the way she carries herself, the way she teaches her children. We don't see a lot of that nowadays. I don't know which one is the mother because they both look like hoes. I seen this the other day. I won't reveal no names where I'm from. But these women went in the store, skirt so tight, couldn't even walk. And I'm talking about mother and daughter. And of course, all the men on the block trying to holler at them because they looking hoish. They showing all their business, got thongs on. Can't even bend over. Y'all know what I'm talking about, fella. Skirt be so so tight, they legs just rub together, they can't even walk. Breast all out. What kind of example are you setting for your daughter? And you know what daughter gonna grow up and say? This is the way my mama was. My mama dressed like this shoe. My mama let me dress like this. My mama didn't have no problem with it. And you know what she gonna do? She gonna let her daughter do the same thing. It's like the making that letter Whitney Lynch did to make another slave. Here we go once again, referring back to this Whitney Lynch letter. People don't understand. You are a reflect. You are a reflection off of your parents. If you teach them wrong, damn it, they gonna live wrong. They gonna grow up and teach their children wrong. Why? Because this is what's going on in the Bible. Plain as they told us to train up a child. And the way they should go. And when they get old, they will not depart from it. Though we all have gotten away from God in so many ways, but what's planted on the inside of you, it got to it got to make you come back. I can talk for myself. I have gotten away from God from church. That was in the past. When I was young, but as I got older and wiser and learned that it never was about religion. It was about my relationship. All of these women, a lot of these, not all of them, but a lot of these young girls want to be in the videos. Everybody's shaking their ass to the music that's cussing them out. And once again, I don't have nothing against nobody. But you are sitting there being called, oh, I'm not coming out of the King James tonight. I keep telling y'all. You sitting there got the music calling you all kind of bitches and hoes. Bitches and hoes, and you shaking your ass to it. And now your children, your little babies, are quoting the same lyrics. And they going to school quoting those same lyrics. And you already got a big problem with teenage pregnancy and sex going on right now. Fornicating. Abortion. You have to teach your children the right way. I don't know which one is the hold, the mother or the daughter. Because when her daughter turned her head, her mother was trying to holler at me in the club. Man, stop trying to be 20 years old over again. Stop trying to be the friend to your... Now, hey, let me say this right. Ain't nothing wrong with being cool with your kids. But when you get to the point you don't see no wrong, 
and you can't tell your child when they wrong and you are trying to look and act like your child, something wrong with you. I see more and more grown women coming out of the house dressing hoish and wondering why these men are degrading them. Some of them love to be called bitch and hoes. I think some of them believe that's their first name because they love it. I see more and more women calling each other bitches and hoes. Oh, bitch, you tripping. Oh, you know what's good. This is what I see all day, every day, man. Along with the, I'm looking for a nigga to take care of me and my kids. I got to say it, all right. Got to say it again. Women and they daughters. Let me say it right. Mothers and they daughters going after the same man. Mothers trying to look like their daughters. Mothers trying to live their life through their daughters. Because some of these mothers done missed out on their childhood, so they want to be right there with their daughters. I see women all the time teaching their daughters how to be hoish. Telling them to get out on that, get out there on your grind and do whatever you got to do to make your money. If you got a strip, if you got a whore around, you do what you need to do. Now, what if your daughter come up with AIDS? Hmm. What if your daughter that day she decides to whore around, she get raped by four men? Okay, man, this stuff ain't no joke. I'm going to tell you something. I've been accused of being a rapist. These charges, these, these, these lies that women will put on you fellas, got to be careful. That's why JT sticks to himself. I done went through 15 years of that mess. 16 now. But how God was my lawyer. Hmm. How God was my lawyer. And I'm not finna jump off into talking about me, but I'm here to talk about women. If you're looking at this video, don't get mad at me. Just try to listen to what I'm saying because think about it. It's bad enough it ain't no men around hardly. Ain't no daddies in the house. And then you want to just get mad and angry and then tell them it's okay to do whatever. No. Stop trying to be your, your daughter's friend and start being a parent sometime. I know it's tough. But once again, ignorance. Ignorance is killing folks, man. You better look at how many people are being raped. These parties going on, these folks are storing stuff and people drink, drugging them and sleeping them, sleeping with them and getting sleeping with them and getting them pregnant. Popping up don't know who the daddy is because they done got a train ran on them. Whew. This goes on. I'm talking about somebody real close to me on that one. Drug you. And then get raped by four or five men. Now you got a son or a daughter pop up in the world and you don't know who daddy, who the dad is. Because they took turns on you. And we got the nerve to sit here and say, it's okay to be a hoe. I know some women that was sleeping. I know some mothers that was sleep with their daughter's boyfriend. You see this mess on Jerry Springer all day, every day. I don't know how true it is on Jerry Springer, but I know a little something about it where I'm at. You can look on the news. I don't know who is the mother. They both look like hoes. Mama's skirt is as tight as the dog's skirt. And some of these young women are so developed now, they are so thick. I don't know what they eat, but these women nowadays, young women are way more developed than back in the day. They got titties and ass before they 20 years old now. Some got it at 13 and 14 years old. I know somebody ain't gonna like what I just said. And you got these, not all mothers are doing this, but see this ghetto mentality, man, this. 
You should want your child to be better than you, way better than you were. I always tell young men, man, don't try to be like me. You want to use me for an example, that's cool and all, but be better than me. Because I ain't that good that like you think I am. If I can sit down and tell you about some of the things I've did in my life, see, JT can point the finger at himself. I don't have to have nobody talk bad about me. I can do a, a bad enough, I can do a good enough job of that myself. All this teaching the child the wrong way, man. I wonder what God just, I believe God just sit up there and shake his head sometime. Instead of saying that my people will perish for the lack of knowledge. They gonna perish. Because now it's all about, I see this in so many youngsters, man. Whatever new song come out and whatever new dance come out, you can look on YouTube and just click on, on a whole lot of pages. And time you click on the page, you're going to see ass shaking right here in the screen. Youngsters. And some of them got their mamas in there. In the screen. Thongs on. And men, if we ain't careful, we'll find ourselves... Oh, steady looking at it. Yeah, because it look good, don't it? Be real, yes, it look good. You be looking at that page longer than you thought you was going to look at it. I'm guilty. I done done it. Because I'm looking at what mama and daughter working with. God bless me with two eyes, man. You think I'm not going to look? Yes, I'm going to look. I see more and more women going to church with tight outfits on, sitting on the front row with their legs wide open, and preachers in the pulpit can see all their business. A lot of women are doing these things for attention. A lot of women are doing it because they're looking for love in all the wrong places. It's a lot of devilish things going on. It's a lot of folks getting killed, man. It's a lot of folks getting raped. I'm going to say this once again, women, because I love y'all. You do not have to dress hoish to get attention and, and to show off yourself. Because I'm going to tell you something. A real man can see, a, see the beauty in a woman with, with the good clothes they have on. First of all, can we just look, can we stop looking on the outside sometime and see on the inside and what's in the person's heart? So many people are just caught on the flesh. And once they sleep around and have it, they don't want it no more. Now they're looking for the next hole to sleep with. The next Jody to sleep with. Man, I'm telling you. We got to start making smart decisions. Women, and I already, like I say, don't, don't worry about the men I already got on us about a whole lot of stuff because I talk about both sides. I'm not just talking about women. I got other videos with the men and how stupid we are on a lot of stuff. On running up and any and everything. All these babies out of wedlock now. And men always want to wear she a hoe. That woman, man, she, well, and the woman ain't made the baby by herself. Hmm. She ain't made the baby by herself. Can we once again teach the children anything else other than how many grills they can get in their mouth how many cars they can drive how many holes they can sleep with and I know a zillion people going to be mad at this video old JT just got 1500,000 more haters hey join with the rest of them truth got to be told start living by this and I'm going to tell you something ludicrous can't get you into heaven Jay-Z can't get you in heaven. I love all them guys. Kanye West ain't going to get you into heaven. You can learn all this music you can. It ain't going to get you in heaven. Your own church can't get you in heaven. And once again, if your mama's living, your mama can't get you in heaven. Your mama got to be trying to make it in herself. Your pastor can't get you in. The shaking your ass show ain't going to get you in. Sin won't get in, period. And I'm going to leave on that note. Be blessed.